right now at Fairchild's Botanical Garden and we have Gabi Orihuela here, the visitor experience manager and she is the main person basically here because she gives us the best experience. She will tell us something about the garden here, about Tropical Chow. Yes, welcome to Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. We are so happy to have you here. This is 83 acres of tropical beauty in the middle of Miami, Coral Gables, here in South Florida. So we have a large collection of palms and cycads and there are unique um, species here in the United States. So yes, uh, we are going to take you to the best places here at the garden so you can discover tropical rainforests, arid gardens, sunken gardens, 11 lakes. So there's a lot to see today. Oh my God, we're so excited. So let's go. In front of a beautiful uh, group of plants, these are called heliconias. And the heliconias, they have different species and they grow in the tropics. If you think about Hawaii, you're going to think about that. Heliconia, so you think Central America, South America, we're going to think about that. These are related, very closely related to the birth of paradise. So they make beautiful ornamental uh, house plants. But they are very important in the forest because these little things here are the actual flowers. So the red Brad here is going to be attracting the pollinators, which are hummingbirds. So these heliconias are going to provide that food source for many species of hummingbird in the rainforest. So it's a very important plant mm -hmm. that we want to protect as well. So what we're looking at now, it's the Chanel number five source like for the this beautiful and uh, essential oils come from this plant from the rainforest uh, from india southeast asia and australia so this plant this tree is growing in our rainforest and it's a perfect uh, tree for they're looking acidic soils humidity and everything that we provide in the exhibit actually the mission yeah and the mission of this exhibit is part of the mission of the garden the mission of a virtual tropical botanic garden is to explore explain and conserve the biodiversity of all tropical plants so part of our collection in this rainforest we have plants from all over the world different continents Asia Australia America and all these plants tell a story and those are the stories that we want to share with you for example, we're looking at a, a very familiar plant for some of you. This is called the Monstera Deliciosa plant. And this is a part of a family of plants that they're climbers. They are epiphyte plants that cover all the rainforest. But not only that, they are source of food. The different communities in Central America and in Asia, they get the fruit of these uh, Swiss cheese plants, like we call it. And it's a very important um, starch on their diet. So the importance to conserve rainforest is not only for uh, enjoy the beauty of the plants here, but the most important thing is to learn about other benefits that plants offer, like medicinal um, medicinal um, components, like they serve as uh, materials to construct, to build in houses or boats, to make fabrics, to make dyes, to make perfumes like you, you saw before. So the value of the plants are immense. There are so many different functions that they have in different ecosystems. So 
Some of the poems here belong to a personal collection of Colonel Montgomery, who was the one um, who donated the land for the garden, and also uh, he was fond, very fond of the palms. These are this is a patch of native palms. They these palms are a favorite in South Florida because they are already adapted to our conditions. Uh, very popular here in Miami and also in the Caribbean. From Haiti, and these palms are in danger uh, where they are. They have deforested all that area, so we have about 20 to 25 trees here, and these uh, represent the last specimens of that. We are working and reproducing this palm to be able to send it back to their own country. A lot of these palms, you're gonna see that some of them they only show the leaves. It's because the trunk is underground, and not until the diameter reaches the maximum um, uh, size, then they will go above the ground. One way to have your veggies at home to grow them is using raised beds and this is um, just an example of how can you grow your own cava, your okra, your herbs like oregano and basil very easily using these boxes. You can use reclaimed wood, you can use uh, different type of uh, boxes to create this. Do you know loofah? The one that you use like when you're in the shower. So this is the plant where we get that sponge. A lot of people in misconception, they thought they were, that was a, like a marine sponge. Yes. But uh, that sponge comes from this fruit. And it's very easy grower here in South Florida and you can have it in your garden. Oh, at papaya trees. So this fruit is my favorite. And I think everybody has a, a batido or ju banana juice. Um, it's very easy grower, fast grower, and you can have it in your garden. So we are looking now at our, our beehive. Bees are so important um, globally you know, for all the crops. Do you know, like if you think about your breakfast, the berries, strawberries, oranges, almonds, all of them depend on bees and now they are vanishing and we have less of left of them. So we want you when the visitors come to Fairchild, they learn about the importance of why we need to keep these pollinators out. So this is the famous jackfruit and the jackfruit, that this is the largest fruit in the world. And then we have this kind of dwarf version. Our tropical fruit program is working really hard with different varieties and they are trying to keep the sizes of the trees shorter and re reducing, believe it or not, the size of the fruit. So it's more manageable commercially. But this is wonderful. We celebrate jackfruit every couple of years here at Fairchild and it has a lot of followers. Um, these come from Southeast Asia. It can reach up to over 50 pounds, one fruit. In this lab is analyzing DNA samples of different plant material. For research and conservation purposes. Here is propagating uh, three different species of native orchids uh, from South Florida. We're trying to, the objective is to propagate these orchids and populate the city of Florida, of South Florida, uh, with orchids in bloom. So if will become a city garden in the future. We are working with different schools programs here and the students, high school students, are replicating all the techniques in this lab and they are doing it in their own school. We're about to see tropical butterflies from all continents. We have butterfly species coming from Southeast Asia, Central and South America, and even some African uh, species here. So welcome and join me. We can see a blue morpho butterfly just resting in a liquala leaf. The blue morpho come from Central and South America, and we're gonna see them that they feed on fruit. 
We have different fruit stations throughout the exhibit. Okay, what we're looking at is the paper kite. This is from Southeast Asia. This is one of my favorite butterflies. Look at this. We're looking now at Heliconius butterfly. And actually this is a native species that we found here in South Florida. It's the Florida State butterfly. This is the relative, or we can say the cousin of all the Heliconius butterfly that we've seen today. What we have here, these are the, this is the uh, chrysalis room. This is, we receive weekly shipments of these butterfly chrysalis, and they are gonna be emerging any time throughout the day. So when that happens, they're gonna be drying their leaves, the, their wings there, and then we're gonna be releasing into the exhibit. Um, visitors are able to observe the part of the metamorphosis process. So they learn about the chrysalis and then they see with their own eyes how the butterflies emerge. And that's just a miracle. That is a miracle of nature. This is a tiger mimic butterfly. This is also from Central and South America. And the exhibit uh, serves as well as an education tool. Um, our visitors and guests, they come to the garden and they enjoy the beautiful butterflies, but also we tell them the stories about the importance of the butterflies as pollinators, just like the bees. But butterflies are very important in all ecosystems. We have a large group of volunteers that support the garden and part of the educational component. They are trained and they are study about uh, their topics, different topics, and they're able to present all the information to our guests. So here we are in our tropical plant conservatory and rare plant house. And this is where we protect all our truly, truly tropical plants from that you know, winter in Miami when we reach 40 degrees or so. But these are uh, uh, beautiful specimens from all over the world. You can compare the size of this, um, this leaf and my palm. This belongs to the Melastomataceae family. And this comes from the tropics, very diverse. And one characteristic, if you can see the nervous system here, the nervatures of the leaf running here, they have three main of these nervatures running along. This is a vertical wall of, made out of bromeliads. And bromeliads is a plant that everybody is very familiar with. It's the same family of the pineapple. Yes, can you imagine this? These are epiphyte plants that live up in the canopy, a subcanopy of the rainforest, and then they uh, provide habitat for different animals, insects, frogs, and other things. We have a wonderful horticulture team. Uh, the day starts really early for them. Some of them, they are here at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, and there are different teams and crews that go out. They also work with volunteers, and they have different areas in the garden. They will go and make sure they collect if they have um, leaf debris or if they need to clip or cut some of the plants. They're always trying to for the exhibits, for the garden exhibits, to look their best. Thank you so much for giving us this amazing tour and explaining us about the, the different species and the plants that exist in this garden. Uh, don't forget to go on our website MiamiStyleTV.com to find more information about pricing, events, festivals, about the Fairchild Tropical Botanical Garden. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and I invite everybody of you. Uh, viewers of this beautiful program to come to Fertile Tropical Botanic Garden in Coral Gables in South Florida and you can visit our website uh, www.fertilegarden.org. Thank you.